just stunning. I feel so cute. I feel like I belong in a garden. Yeah. Plant me and I will grow. <laughs> What's up you guys? It is Sophia Kelly here with you today. And uh, I mean, who else would it be with you today? I mean, obviously it's me. So, if you guys are new to my channel, I would like to give you a warm welcome and I would like to invite you guys to go ahead and click that subscribe button if you haven't already because you know what? I have a feeling you and I are going to be good friends. I have a feeling I'm going to like you. You guys can also follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and on Twitter. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I created this look today, keep on watching, let the games begin, and let's get started. Okay, you guys, so I've done most of my face and one eye off camera so we can jump right into things. And the first shade I'm taking is called Morocco and it is in the Juvia's Place Nubian 2 palette. And this shade is a gorgeous tangerine orange shade. And I'm going to focus this shade in the inner corner of my eye where that hollow is and all the way up to my eyebrow. And I want to blend it outward just a little and you should have something that looks like that now for my second shade I'm jumping into the Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe the shade I'm taking from this palette is called Hunts and Hunts is just a burnt tangerine looking shade so I'm gonna connect that with Morocco on my eye so I'm connecting this with Morocco I'm applying Hunts and I'm gonna take it all the way out and once you've fanned out your eyeshadow, you're just going to pick up a little bit more and start adding it to your outer V. At this point, I'm going to go and dip back into Morocco and I'm going to run that shade along my lower lash line so I can connect the top and the bottom. So your outer corner right here, you want to make sure that you connect the bottom of the top so you don't have any like, naked spaces on your eye or awkward gaps in the eyeshadow. I want it to transition smoothly. Okay, so now that I have that done, I'm just going to take a clean blending brush to buff off this line that we have going on because I don't want any lines in my eyeshadow. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add some depth to this eye and for my depth, I'm jumping back into that Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe and I'm taking the shade Central Park. Okay, so now with Central Park, I'm just going to stay concentrated with this color on my outer V before I start bringing it anywhere. So once I have that color down, then we can start blending it out and bringing it across. So I like where my outer V is right now. We've got a nice depth going on. So now I'm going to start bringing that shade towards my inner corner. Once I get into my inner corner, I'm going to start and mixing that in with Morocco and bringing it all the way up. So now I'm just going to carry Central Park along my lash line to connect everything. So before we go ahead and cut this crease, I'm going to take a brush and just go over Central Park with orange. Just to make sure everything is really blended. Okay guys, so now we are ready to go ahead and cut that crease. And as always, I'm taking my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW25. And we're doing a half cut crease. Once I get towards the end of that, I'm just going to feather it out so it fades into nothing. Alright, to fade out the edges of this, I'm just going to take the pad of my finger and fade it, you know. So, I'm going to dip back into Hunts with my brush just to blend that outer edge of the cut crease. The next shade I'm going to be jumping into is in the Zulu palette by Juvia's Place and 
Unfortunately, I don't have any names for these colors because they are unnamed. So this color is a yellow and it's like a canary yellow. It's very bright. And this is the shade I'm going to be using to pack onto my lid. Now I'm staying in the Zulu palette and I'm taking that bright, almost neon looking orange. It looks like a healthy orange. So now I'm going to go ahead and take my favorite eyeliner and it is the Stila Kajal eyeliner in the shade Onyx. And I'm going to line my waterline on the top and on the bottom. Alright, so now that that's done, I am going to highlight my brow bone and my inner corner and I'm jumping into my all-time favorite highlighting palette and that is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in Sun Dipped and I'll be taking the shade Bronze. So before I go ahead and do my eyeliner and my eyelashes off camera, the last thing I have to do is to do that white line right where our cut of the crease is. So for lashes today, I'm going to be taking the lashes from Blush Tribe in the style Athena. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and apply my eyeliner and my eyelashes off camera and I'll be right back. Okay you guys, so I am back with my eyeliner and my eyelashes on and I have to say, when you have a bomb pair of eyelashes, it's just like wearing sexy underwear for your eyes. I mean, hello. And um, okay, so my face needs a little bit more assistance because we're looking kind of potato-ish with glam on the eyes. I'm jumping into my masquerade palette and I'm taking the shade Fulani. We're gonna bronze. All the eagles, all the eagles. We're gonna bronze. All the eagles of flower. Okay, here we go. You know, I really wish that Juvia's Place made the shade Fulani separate so I could purchase it because I'd buy all of them. Now we're going to go ahead and cover out some cheekbones. I'm going to contour using my Joe Blasco in the shade Ebony. So I'm going to go ahead and do some fake freckles before I move any further with this face. And um, what I'll be taking for the fake freckles is I'll be taking my Wonder Brow Brow Gel in Jet Black. And I think I just want them really on my nose. Not really on my cheeks, but just like from here to here. Like That's gonna be it for the freckles. We're gonna do some blush to add some color back into my face and you guys already know which palette I'm taking. Come on now, say it with me. I'm taking the Saharan Blush Palette Volume 1 and I'm um, dipping into the shade Toby. And um, now to highlight, I'm staying in this palette and I'm taking the shade Lila. I say it different every single time. I say Lila, I say Lila, you know, it's the same shade. I'll be taking that on my cheekbones, my cupid bow, my cupid, my cupid's bow, my nose, and on my temples. So, here we go. Alright guys, and last but not least, we are going to do lips, and with this look you can do an orange lip, a red lip, a black lip, a nude lip, um, matte glossy satin, you could really do anything with this look because I did use some neutral colors, but knowing me, I am going to do something nude and glossy, I just can't help myself, guys. So obviously I'm using the Chestnut Lip Liner from MAC, and I'm taking the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Madeline. Now it's time for the lip gloss. So we are at the end of today's tutorial and I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did like my video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up for me. Share this video, feel free to drop a comment down below. Also, I mean, I'm going to send a second invitation to you and only you, right, if you missed it in the beginning. Go ahead and click that subscribe button, join the family, and you guys know that you can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and on Twitter for more of a daily upkeeping of what I'm up to. And that is all I have for you guys today, so I will see you beautiful people in my next video, okay? Okay. Bye! <laughs>
Bye, guys.